Hello, print princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a brand new product from Hourglass. When Hourglass releases something, it's always very highly anticipated. This one is no exception. I am holding in my hand the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. Wow, a shorter name than usually products have these days, right? This is a lightweight skin tint that melts into the skin supposedly while diffusing imperfections and evening skin tone. It is $49 and comes in 18 shades. Note to self, we need to talk about those 18 shades. Um, and I purchased the uh, shade eight, which is considered a light medium cool uh, let's come back to that in a moment. There's also a loose powder, like a setting powder, that Hourglass um, released as well that you can pick up at the same time if you were interested in it. Okay, let's talk about shade choice. I am wearing it right now, and let's talk about how I chose this shade. It was a little bit of a luck of the draw, and I lucked out. And then you'll see in the demo, I'll split the face and do one side and one side, and you'll see if in the demo you do agree that I did good. It was a little bit of a guess. So I am a very traditional, hear me out here, I'm not just talking about me. You can apply this to your own skin tone, okay? I am a traditional, across the board, light, medium, neutral um, kind of skin tone. Pretty obvious. Now it depends where they start the skin tone spectrum. If they start with, say, very fair to fair to light, then I guess I could be light. But generally, if they start with light, I am light medium. This started with fair. So there are 18 shades and they are very stretchy. So stretchy that frankly, it could be like 36 to even 40 different shades. So I'm not worried about that because the shades are stretchy. But two things I had in mind, and I could brag now because I, I know I think I did pretty good, but two things I had in mind. I was thinking about the fact that there were really very few neutral shades. I think I saw neutral in the fair, and I saw one neutral shade, I think over in the deeper. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'll have to look again. But in my little light medium-y, kind of like, you know, slightly on the darker side of light, there was no neutrals, it was cool or warm. But I kept in mind that Hourglass Complexion products tend to go really orange. On so many of us, they had warm, even in the cool shades, they had warm. So I was like, I'm a neutral, what do I do? So I went with the light medium cool. I thought, let me combat that orange. I hate turning orange. I would rather go cooler than warmer because it brightens the complexion maybe lately I need that. So I chose the light, medium, cool, and that is not usually me, cool, but I went with eight, the light, medium, cool, and I was so nervous that I was gonna put this on and it was just gonna be totally off. You know, like uh, your Aunt Bertha who wore seven shades too dark and you saw the line right here? I was so worried about that. So um, I really lucked out. I, I don't know if it was luck or that I'm just, since COVID getting so good, since, you know, lockdown getting so good at choosing shades online, I don't know. We're going to go right now to the demo and you can actually see for yourself and tell me what you think. And then I want to know what shade you chose as well. So stay right there. Okay. I do admit to this being a little bit of a moment of truth. Community member Sarah DM'd me and asked if I chose shade four. That was kind of her guess. And I went, Sarah, I chose shade eight. One of us is very wrong. So let's see, Sarah, the moment of truth. Okay, so here we go. I'll do this side of the face and we'll leave this side and then we can compare them. Okay, so here it is here. You've already seen this in the intro. You know, <laughs> you've gone forward in history and you know. Okay, not bad. Literally, this is the first time I'm trying it with you guys. I will do a wear test, but the first time putting it onto my face, I'm doing here with you guys. And I'm just kind of trying to, oh, clumsily split the face a little bit. Not bad, not bad, but darn it, the darn stuff is running warm. I mean, it's not too warm, but I'm telling you, that was a safe bet. It, the darn stuff is running warm. Okay. So here I am just gonna kind of press it in a little bit. Um, and I, you know, I clumsily split the face there. What do you think? Not bad. Not behaving like a cool shade though, is it really, right? Not bad. Okay, let me do the other side now. Really pretty. Kind of, um, not necessarily light coverage, but not quite medium either. I can tell you, um, 
I know what they say, but I can tell you from what I'm experiencing, um, and I, I could build this a little bit, but it appears to be kind of a on the light side of medium, which is kind of just right, especially for those warm months, summer into fall. Okay. I saw, where did I see somebody press? I saw a professional makeup artist press this in and I went, validation. But somebody said to me in comments, oh, I don't know, you're pressing that in. You need to go wash your hands and you're just wiping them on your pants. And I, I did say, I don't wipe them on my pants if I'm not filming. I do wipe them on my pants when I'm filming though. I admit it, but when I'm not filming, I, I, I do wash my hands. <laughs> of course I'm filming most of the time, so, okay. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I think I did good on the shade choice, neck. Oh, I did good. Okay, let me get some makeup on. Now, you have seen the finished look already in the intro. And when you just forward a second or so, you're going to see it after the wear test. Uh, I wasn't planning to film today, so I got all day just to kind of let it sit. And we'll see how it goes. Stay right there. Okay. It has been eight hours. That's a good wear test. Sometimes you guys get on me because it's like five hours. Pretty good, huh? And I gotta tell you, I like this stuff. Now I hesitate to say it because I feel like those of you who will take my advice and I'm very honored that you place your faith in me, I really am, but I am afraid that I'm sending you on quite a quest to choose the right shade. I am aware of that and I don't know how much help my lucky guess was, but do know that generally their foundations run warm and I went cool. I'm definitely a neutral, but it didn't hurt me. In fact, it brightened the face a little bit. Um, I have reapplied the lip product. This is the Phantom, the lip gloss from Hourglass, but everything else is as it was. And you know what I was most impressed with as the eight hours were on? Um, my dad's birthday was today. He's 88 years old, my dad. And I went ahead and put on a little dinner party and all that stuff. Pretty good. It wasn't too hot. Air-conditioned house, but you know. I was, I was working and moving. So let, you know what most impressed me when I stopped throughout the day and looked into the mirror? I was most impressed with the fact that I really do believe it blurs my pores. Maybe it's because it's summer, but I have, I don't know about you guys, really been plagued by uh, pores and some of you have texture, but I have pores on, on this area and especially here and here. And I really noticed as the day went on, I wasn't seeing them. Did I powder it? I did not for two reasons. Number one, I, I don't like to wear primer or powder when I do an initial foundation review because if there's a problem, you don't know what caused it. And I did have a little bit of color corrector on the dark pits of despair before I started, but I didn't even put concealer over. I wanted to see what this Hourglass product was doing totally on its own, okay? So anything around the nose, anything around the eyes is purely this. I wanted to get rid of even concealer. Obviously, I'll wear it later, but not for the first, you know, go. Looks really good under the eyes, not creasing. So any creasing would have been a concealer, see? Really good around here. Um, I could have built up some coverage over some blemishes or used a concealer. I really would have, or maybe some blemishes here. It's a light, medium coverage, you know, so great around the pores here. Super blurring here. I can see the areas around the nose that remain. They haven't gotten waste, but remain a little bit red or a little bit of thread veins. Again, I didn't put concealer over. You know, I just wanted to wear this product completely unadulterated and it is beautiful. It is super soft. It has moved with my skin. It is definitely, definitely blurring pores. It definitely melts into the skin, as they say, and I feel it does diffuse imperfections. I think this is a really, really good product, but you got to figure out the whole shade dilemma. You really do. And you know, the dilemma is on both sides of the coin. If you have a warm complexion, you know, do you just go ahead and go neutral if you can? You know, is warm gonna be too warm for everyone? I don't know. We have to start seeing how other people do, but let me tell you, the eight worked for my light, medium, neutral skin. I took a chance and it worked and boy, do I love this. This reminds me about how I felt, oh gosh, ages ago when La Mer first came out with a skin tint, remember? And then they canceled it and you couldn't get it. Does anyone remember that? And it was such a holy grail for people. This kind of reminds me of how I originally, I haven't used that in some time, but how I originally felt about that 
particular product, that really nice, comfortable feeling. I still feel like I have coverage. I don't feel like it's too dewy. I could go on and on. I think this is an excellent product, and I think our wear test is long enough to really give it a good test. Now, here's where you come in. Tell me what you think. I need to know everything. If you purchased it, tell me your, the, the shade that you purchased and generally what you would wear. Would you normally be a deeper tone, kind of warmer shade? Would you normally be a fair, really kind of cool shade? What would you normally be? What did you go with and did it work? Let's start getting some feedback. It's early days yet. Let's start getting some feedback for everyone who wants to go out and purchase it. Hey, that's what makes us a community. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come over and say a big hello over on Instagram. TikTok and now Threads too. And don't forget that you can become a bigger part of this community by becoming a channel member for behind the scenes and weekly gossipy, terribly gossipy, members only lives. Hey, but in any way that you choose to spend your time here, I'm just thrilled to have you. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.